Discord to somehow, or actually the stream thing to grab the Discord window. So we're just going to have to watch this at full view. And I will not be able to see the chat during the game here. No problem, I'll try to keep an eye on it. Alright, so they already started the match. We have a juggler picked up on both sides. I see a claret early picked, second picked on Chung's side. Mm -hmm. With Zerda on Fek's side. So just having the Zerda faction buffer juggler means it's doing pretty good here. Mr. Knight is still going to need a lot of help to kill the juggler now that he does have a faction buff. So I'm going to assume both players remember to use a mercenary. I do see the Omega on Fex's side. Mm -hmm. Chong doesn't have the Omega, which is actually one of the best looking mercs. So instead, I'm going to assume like the Rachel is probably his mercenary. Yeah, I think that's the only thing left. Okay, Wilder pick is pretty good against Claret. Wilder's still not really that great of a single target healer, unless he brings the regroup. Mm -hmm. Together with this Zerda though, I can definitely see Wilder taking 3C, regroup, and probably tactical retreat here. So Wait, Wilder most likely will not be taking strengthen or mass attack for any of his other units. Yeah, I don't think so either. I use skip pickup. Those are okay bands. I don't know about the claret band though. Banning the Clara at Wenchang already have TR is probably not really necessary, although Clara can always threaten to get good trades. Oh. Correct, yeah. So Chang ended up not taking Rachel, which would have been his only attack buff. Going for Buffless attackers, Claret and Mystery Knight. Most of mm -hmm. half is a teleport buff and attack blessing. Okay, so Q is going to mm -hmm. be my Q caster here. And what do you oh. think about these two? boxes here, these two teams. Which one do you so, think have the advantage? I think Fex has a slight advantage over Chung, mostly because that Claret and MK are buffless. On, on the other hand, well, no, I just, <laughs> actually, no, I, I do think Fex is just better. I Rachel can gospel with Juggler. There's not a debuff that MK can cast on Juggler, but if he's not careful, MK can hit somebody else if he doesn't bring magic guard, which is normally what people don't bring when they have juggler. Yeah, so Chung could get some free kills if he teleports the Mystery Knight in a good position to do so. Mm -hmm. It's also better when he's player one, just so at the start of turn two, you can very easily move Mystery Knight to get kills that way. So Iris, Mystery Knight is a threat here unless Mystery Knight is unable to get the kills. Mm -hmm. Now, I I think uh, the best bet for Fex to 
kind of take over the game would be to snipe MK or trade for her. So Fex did not bring the magic guard, so he really have to be careful with how he positions the units. Once Wyler uses up 3C though, the Claret is not going to do anything for the next 2 or 3 turns. Correct. So Fex is playing very safe here, moving back even. He does need some turns to set up, two turns to set up. That's correct, I think he... Well, I wonder if we'll see any Tenyos. Tenyos might, might make a difference in terms of reaching their side, but not right now. Just a little bit. So the Zerida did not bring El Hazard. The regroup is only going to be used as a heal instead of also an act again for Zerida. Mm -hmm. MK is just running around trying to get more steps in for her talent. So the shield on Iris is good against the anti heal. From Yusuke, yeah. And that is not a Tenyo's. <laughs> yeah, the juggler on Chang's side is going to be quite difficult to take down with both shield and TR's healing light. So Fex really needs to get a few snipes here with Zerda first. Back with the backstab ready, could be able to kill any one of Chang's other units here, other than the tank. Yep. But the Zerda is still going to be quite outranged by this Claret. Let's if the Zerda needs to go into hide and seek, she really need a wall in front of her. But right now, Fex's units are not really positioned in the way to block for the Zerda. Hmm. So well, he just to... transforms quite early here. There's still half a map of distance to close. So he's probably not going to be punching anyone next turn. Now, do you think that Juggler is fine without Wider 3C? If, uh, well, I guess they could give Cleric attack bus and a teleport. There'd be no attack buff unless they get the random Tenyo's attack buff. Putting the teleport onto Claret, not really a good idea, I think. Iris teleport mm. have too long of a cooldown here. On the other hand, I, Chung could be waiting for uh, Vex's um, water guard to, to end, because then it would force Juggler to use 3C if he wants to keep guarding. So right now, MK is still out of reach. Chong might be looking to get Breeze on his Mystery Knight as well here. Yep. That allows him to teleport easier. Oh, 
Well, the more the effects waits here, he's going to run out of water on his juggler next turn. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be good on Fex just waiting here that much longer. Now the tag blessing does go to Mystery Knight. Can probably see a teleport. Not on this turn though. There's still everything too far away. Oh, Breeze. I don't think we'll see a teleport for a while. the turn or nothing really happens here but we can see Chong getting the advantage here interesting now would you have stayed out of reach from the claret if you were fex fex here have two options. You can either not use the water with 3C on Juggler mm -hmm. and just try to survive with Wyler 3C here. Or he can just cast the 3C as a guard just to stay in, stay in water. I think I would probably just go with not using 3C on Juggler. Instead, just use the 3C from Weiler and really push forward. Yep. Yusuke already transformed, he really should be pushing forward, forming a wall here. Yeah, he has to. Just so he can hide his Zerda. He's probably afraid of this mystery knight just one-shotting the juggler once the juggler falls out of water. Mm -hmm. Three C, okay. So the juggler uses three C just to stay in water. The mystery knight can still be teleported in range to attack that juggler in grasslands. Yep. Okay, Chong is going to make something happen in the next two turns here, even though he doesn't really need to. Nope. I think he is trying to go for the juggler kill, because I think he was counting steps to see where he can teleport MK. Fex here is still very strong for the next two turns, the only last large cooldown will be from Weiler. He 
You could threaten to have the opponent's Wyler use 3C and then continue to wait for a few turns here. Mm -hmm. Though I don't, I don't, I wouldn't try to use 3C yet since you already used Juggler's 3C, so there's no point in, I don't think there's a point in prayer yet, or Wyler's desperate prayer. Okay. That definitely helps with positioning. Fags definitely don't need to be afraid of this claret here. The claret is keeping the Zerida in check. Mm -hmm. Once the claret goes down, like trades for juggler, which it's not really going to happen here. Then the Zerda can outrange Mystery Knight and get kills that yeah. way. Fex also used all of his large cooldowns early on. So, he's not at the advantage here unless Chang jumps in right now. Mm -hmm. And looks like Chang, thinking about it, might be jumping in this turn. The Zerda is already, has already acted. So the last action is going to be coming out from Weiler. Yep. Okay, so Mr. Knight probably not going to do a whole lot of damage here. She couldn't well, she could attack into a guarded unit, but it would not be on Grasslands. Yep, so... At that point, though, attacking on Grassland might be better than attacking a guarded unit. Since it's a 30% attack on Unicorns versus a 20% attack defense for attacking a guarded unit. So Weiler cannot use 3C, otherwise it's going to die to mm -hmm. the AoE. Thunder zone. But now Chong is going to be forced to take an action. That's an interesting move. If he does anything other than move Mystery Knight, he's going to lose the Mystery Knight here. Yep. So, teleporting the Juggler in can also save him, just because the Zerda is not on Hazard. So once the Zerda is put into water, she needs that water dispelled first. So he could get one turn out of jumping in the juggler here. Um. Alright, this is not going to do a lot. Oh, it killed! That's a <laughs> crit. Yeah, the crit helped. So now the game's on Chung's side. Is he gonna try to bait there to get closer? Because he don't could have usually see assassins or assassinations like that for Mystery Knight attacking at range. But he did get Grasslands and also attacking into Guarded Unit bonus 
I'll jump down the uh, unicorn is. So for Fex, there's two or three plays you can do here. One would be to use Wild 3C. Mm -hmm. The other is to try to kill the Mystery Knight with Zerda. Now after the juggler jumps in, he's going to lose the shield buff, which means Yusuke can follow up with a punch. Alright. He got it back up. Using the shield first before jumping in. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Zayda so needs to grab the kill and hope to survive. Claret. I don't think that will happen though. Was he trying for a tenuous? I don't like the positioning here. Since Fax's units can just get put into water here. And he's out of the spells. Mm -hmm. Especially since he dispels before the water is applied. So Zerda can only hit the juggler here rather than Mr. Knight as well. And with healing light still up on juggler, that's not really going to kill the juggler. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, do you think if they manage to keep the last rights broken, you think it could kill? It could be. Oh no. That's a normal attack, yeah. He's gonna try to run in and heal, but the issue is that Fex has turn priority, though at this point I don't know how Fex can recover with the Claret on the field. Seems like Chang is swapping out Mercs, the Rachel for the Omega. So we don't see an Aries on Chang's side. Nope, we don't. I wonder if Chung's still there. He's debating hard on who to ban. Okay, Landius. 
after putting in the Omega. It makes sense to ban Landius. Mm -hmm. So what Chong did last game was he was too afraid of the Claret, even though the Claret was proving to be no threat at all. He might be forcing Tung to pick up a Gospel now. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I thought he was going to go for the Lestal pick, which could have worked. So far, Fex's units are still being countered here. Listel is facing against both the Juggler and Gospel. Mm -hmm. So Juggler have many ways of shutting down the Listel. Once the Juggler have Gospel, can jump in front of Listel. Listel can't really do much to a Gospel Juggler. Correct. And I do wonder whether Fex will pick up the Gospel from... Juggler can still use Rage Dragon Barrier to make all his units immune to fixed damage. Yes. I wonder if we will get in to see an Ares today in this match. So Mr. Knight picked up here. Listel should probably just take a Magic Guard and be mm -hmm. done with this. Oh, okay. We get the Cena Ares. And he did ban Tiaris and Hiei, which I don't know. Maybe he should have banned two healers. I don't really like this late Ares pick. It would have been great if the opponent did not have any Gospels, like especially banning out Dlit and Liana. Yeah, I do think that would have been a better thing to this do. This Lestelle is going to either be absolutely useless, or be relatively useless. Mm -hmm. All right, so Q, what do you think Fex can do to win here? How should he play all this match to win? He, I think he needs to really try hard with Ares and take out Juggler. And then what? At that point, I'm trying to figure it out because I guess his uh, remaining choices for DPS would be Juggler and Listel. But... It's possible. I think it, it's definitely possible. He takes out Juggler and somehow he still gets a Blood Dance in and they don't, they're not immune to fixed damage. It will surely weaken them. He could also try to go in with Ares and if he manages to cross some units and pull Ares a bit back without letting him die, he can always uh, uh, 
use the skill from Wilder to pull Ares all the way back to his side. It really depends. I've been able to get away with it a couple times. <laughs> I send Ares in and somehow he's still alive and I pull him back the next turn. That could be one of the ways to win. However, Luna here is going to be extremely difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. It will all depend on how Chung, uh, what turn order he decides to move his units in. Many times, I think the most people tend to leave Deeds at last to try to counter, but if you bring Angels with Ares and he's healed up, it's normally okay. All right, this match could be decided right here and right now. We have to check the juggler skills. If it does not have Beast Shock, the game is kind of over. Yeah, he has to bring something for that juggler. Yep, Beast Shock. All right, he does have Beast Shock, and the oh. Listel does have Magic Art, so Magic good. Guard. Shex did not lose at the skill selection phase. <laughs> Strength and... Wait, uh, huh? I guess he expects his... Ares to survive and come back? Possibly. I mean, he could always try to teleport a garden before using Wilder 3C if he manages to get closer with uh, with Ares. Alright, so casting Triton turn 1 here, really not going to do a whole lot here. Nope. He does not have Magic Guard, so he can't guard against both the Dealit and the Mystery Knight here. And if he wants to get the Ares kill on Juggler, he will need to teleport the Iris or Ares with Iris mm -hmm. first. Yes he would. So it doesn't look like he's going to be playing that game. Instead he can always play the other game of using finger on the juggler and then following up with some AoE damage. Now, both the Omega and Mystery Knight want the Gospel from Dealit just to have an attack buff. Mm -hmm. So it's possible he might leave the air, the Juggler, without a Gospel here. That would be very risky, though. Those okay. stats from the spell are so the spell. Magic defense, not that high. Yeah. So you can... Well, he does have, or Fex does have a Wilder 3C available, so the Listel is still going to be sort of okay here. Yep. Unless he does not have the range on his 3C, then that could also change everything. I'm trying to recall if I saw turn duration for three turns on Wilder's Buff last game. Oh, freeze. Classic. Yeah, why? Well, Ares definitely don't need any more attack buffs here. When he yeah. have three C available. We could see the gospel used here. On who? Juggler? Or MK? Or not even Omega. Yeah, who he chooses here is going to determine how he's going to play out the game here.
Yeah, because right now Listel could always finger, but let's see what happens. From what I can see here, putting Gospel on any one of them, there's a way to win with that game plan. Mm -hmm. Chan just need to execute it perfectly. So the gospel goes on juggler, Ares, or this Omega is not going to have the attack buff or any sort of buffs. So Omega is probably just going to be used as a oh, zoning green. tool here. Now, I don't... let's see, now he, he... can he ignore Ares? 261... Oh, uh, no, he's fine. The only thing I can see him trying to do is break Listel's last rights, but then does it really... I don't know, does it really... matter right now, it seems. Right now, Ares can can pass any team member. Yep, with the help of Breeze, he can do that. Mm -hmm. But that's not really necessary here. True. I don't really see the Ares jumping in this turn. Not even next turn after Iris TP? To kill the juggler, he needs to dispel the water buff and needs to dispel the defense buff, while also being relatively close to the opponent's team here. So he has mm -hmm. to get on that trees right below Dealit. Correct. It's going to be a big gamble if he wants to try the airy snipe. And I don't even think it's going to be that good. Alright, so he's going to do this anyways. Once he makes the trade, his only chance of killing Luna becomes using the Beast Shock from Juggler. Mm-hmm. So Omega just stands in place. Could have moved around just to position better. Yeah. Now that's the first action. We could see the Ares moving in. But if he does that, it's definitely not going to come out. He can instead move some of the healers first. I do wonder if he can just... If it's smart enough... No, it's not smart because... MK can... no. Okay, that's a weird play. This is not good. Yeah. He have three... I think he dispelled water. 
He did dispel water here, but he only have three units around him. Yeah, so it's not going to be good enough to kill the juggler here. Now, what I did wonder was if he could 3C in front of Luna with a with, uh, juggler. And I think the Master of Ice would reach the other juggler and break his last rights. And if d -Lid followed up with the heal, he might have accidentally dispelled water. Water debuff. You which mean... would have been the water that's never going to be applied because of a certain buff. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot about the gospel. Angels would have been better, but... Yeah. This seems like it's over for Fex. Alright, the Ares goes down. So, yeah, Juggler does not go down here. He's, or Fex is out of physical damage here. He still cannot lock down the Luna here, so Luna can just run around. Mm -hmm. Stand out of the way here. I do think Chang would have killed if Fx would have killed if he did it right next to Juggler. Because I, I don't know if his Ares is 6 or 5 stars, but it makes a big difference if you're not 6 stars. Because you do lose a lot of uh, stat buffs. Yep, they're free stats. Might as well take them. From the low attack on Fx's Ares, though, I'm going to assume that's 4 stars, maybe max 5 stars. This is not going to do a lot, I think. This is ranged. Mm -hmm. Does not have yeah. any sort of attack buffs. Does get a silence off on the iris. So, yep, Fex is forced to move the iris. Mm -hmm. Before Chong moves that Luna, he should really check how much the Omega can move. <laughs> Could wait for that now. He just has to be careful not to move Juggler. Oh, well, not that it really matters, but couldn't matter with the B shock from the other juggler. So Weiler is still out of range. Yep. He needs to move that in first. Yeah. Hmm. Chung here can do that, do nothing, or he can also teleport the juggler. So Chong's positioning is looking very good here. He put everyone outside of the Juggler B shock range other than this Omega. Yep.
then the spell's down. All he has to do is use a magic attack on the juggler. Yep, that can kill the Lestel here, which is guarding the juggler. Fags didn't really have any good choices there anyways. He could use yeah, the Wilder 3C first. Yeah, this is but then the jump good. in from Chunk Struggler could kill off both Iris and Wilder, depending on how good the range is. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's just out of range. Nope, it's in range to hit the Iris and kill Iris. So, Fex loses both games here, being quite outplayed here. Correct. Since if Fex did use Wilder 3C instead of attacking on the Juggler, the Iris or the Juggler on Chung's side could move in, teleport behind Fex's Juggler, mm -hmm. kill the low health Iris and the one health Wilder that way. Getting rid yep. of both healers and then just winning the game up. Three to nothing on material. That's correct. Okay, so there should be other games being played out here. Yeah. So we can just go on to watch uh, Straw cast the other matches. Alright, gonna end stream here. See you guys in the other stream.